And eventually, in 1988, they decided to build a machine. So he built the first vertical machining center. It doesn't matter if you're in the US, Europe, China, India, getting qualified workers is always a problem. We have a saying that the salesman sells you the first Haas machine and the service technician sells you your second. Guess where I am today? In sunny California, and I'm about to go in this place and have a factory tour. Brian, thank you very much for the invitation here to yeah, Haas my pleasure. today. Um, this is it's tremendous to have a walk around where these machines have been made. And I'm sure there aren't many people that don't know about Haas, but for those that don't that are on our channel, can you just give us a brief explanation of the history? So the history of Haas, we're a relatively young company by machine tool standards. Um, we're a little over 30 years old. Um, started by still the one and only owner, Mr. Gene Haas, and he started with his own machine shop, a small job shop, and he had a job that needed a, a bunch of holes, and he got tired of manually indexing it, so he designed and developed a automatic... Uh, like an indexer. An indexer with a, with a stepper motor, and that was kind of the birth of Haas Automation. The shops all around him, as is often the case, came and saw and said, what is that? Can, can we have one of those? And so he started building them for other shops, and that led to more development with indexers and rotaries. And eventually, in 1988, they decided to build a machine. So he built the first vertical machining center for Haas Automation. Which is still here today. Which it's still see. here today. It's right behind us. And it's called the VF1. And the reason it's called the VF1 is there was obviously no marketing department back in those days. They didn't know what to call it, so VF1 stands for very first one. Okay, it's an incredible story and an incredible journey. I mean, tell us from where you were then to where this business is today here. We're in Oxnard, aren't we? That's where Ox we are. Oxnard, California, yeah. uh, Ventura County. We're about an hour north of Los Angeles. And this is your main facility. This is where all this the is the only facility. Are made. This is where they're all made. Okay, yeah. so yeah, tell us where we are today then, how many machines you're making and what's so going we're, through So right now we're at about 1,200 machines a month. Um, this factory has the capacity for roughly 1,500 machines a month. Um, we do have plans in the future to build another facility in Henderson, Nevada. But for now, we're here. We uh, intend to, you know, of course, weather the storm with all the supply issues that we're having, you know, caused by COVID and all that. Um, 1,200 machines a month is still pretty good considering everything. It's absolutely phenomenal. There's over 200,000 machines installed around the world, I read on your website. Yeah, there's well, over a quarter million now. Over a quarter yes. of a million machines. Yeah. And all of those were born here. Every single one of them. Now, this is the third facility in Haas Automation history. There were two other facilities that were about 30 miles from here. But every machine built is comes out of this facility. Where do you position yourselves in the market these days? I mean, we've got obviously five axis technology behind yep. us. We've now got some, some automation here, we right. the robotics. What do Haas supply and who do they supply to? So Haas has a wide variety of, uh, of customers. You know, we, we still build some, some smaller machines that run on single phase power. So somebody that's a startup can put a machine in their garage, for example. Um, all the way up to the big aerospace companies. I mean, we, we run the full, the full spectrum. Um, we have entry-level machines all the way up to full five-axis machines. 
And, and what's the, um, the reason for such success in such a short period of time, do you think? Uh, I think it's a couple of things. The, the Haas control is a big contributor to that. You know, from, from day one when Gene developed the machine, the idea was to make the control easy to use and user friendly. And to this day, the control, although obviously there have been enhancements to it, the keyboard layout is exactly the same. Um, so if you go from a mill to a lathe to a five axis machine, all the controls are laid out the same. And so people feel comfortable running our machines. Another aspect is we do a lot with education. So we have a lot of machines in schools. So students come up running a Haas machine. Naturally, when they get into the workforce and they get a job at a company, they're gonna to wanna to run a Haas because that's what they're used to. And, and you're a supplier all around the world, aren't you? But, yes. the, but the US would be your biggest market, I assume. Our, US, US and Canada is our biggest market for sure. Um, but we do, we ship literally worldwide. And looking around the facility today, you've got over 300 chip making machines, I yes. was told, of which 75% of those are actually Hasses. So a lot yes. of the work, a lot of the machines are, made, are being made by themselves, aren't they? Which in itself is a true is, is testament to what they can yeah. achieve. Now, of course, we don't build large uh, double column machines and, and FASM systems, FMS systems, but anywhere we can use a Haas machine in our own machine shop, we will use one. And one of the, the fast M systems you've got here as well, I was told, is has the most pallets of any in the world, isn't it? like 147 pallets. Yeah, I, I, I don't know, that, there might be a little urban legend there. I'm not okay. sure, every time I hear it, you know, we're either the biggest in the world or the second in the world. It, it's a big system, there's, there's a lot of pallets there. And with 1,300 employees as well, I'm told, you uh, must be we're a big provider to the local community for Big workforce. provider to the local community, yeah. I, obviously, most of the employees live within, you know, probably a 20-mile radius of the factory. Um, I, I believe we're up to 1,500 employees now. Um, and then tell us about some of the new technology that's coming through then, because I can obviously, and I've mentioned already the automation that you've got behind right. you. Some of your turning centers now are equipped with Y-axis and sub-spindles. Yep. What's new? So Y-axis and sub-spindles have, have been around for a few years. We, we really have a couple of things that we're pushing at this point. One is automation, but Haas does automation differently. We, we like to refer to it as simple automation and affordable automation. So we have APLs, automatic parts loaders, we have pallet pools, and a real point of emphasis for us now is robots. Now the differentiator is the robot, they're FANUC robots, are actually programmed through the Haas control. So previously, if you have a robot, you need to have an integrator come in, it's expensive. Um, now you can program your ro robot right through the Haas control. We have videos online to step you through it, walk you through it step by step. So that, that's what makes us different from other people that are offering robotics. So it's taking, it's taking some of the barriers to entry away, some yes. of the, the, the difficult factors that would yes. probably restrict people Absolutely. from using that automation. So this would apply to all of your machining centers, your five axis, right the way through to your turning centers as well? So right now it's on small and medium frame verticals and we offer it on the small and, and medium frame turning centers as well. We are going to offer it more for five axis and we're expanding it across the whole product line. Um, I've seen some of your five axis machines being built today mm -hmm. and in fact we've seen one with a pallet pool system on it, the UMC 750 I believe. Yes. This is where the future is, isn't it? 100%. We've seen it around Europe, the same Absolutely. here? Absolutely. Absolutely. Um, it doesn't matter if you're in the US, Europe, China, India, getting qualified workers is always a problem. So automation is something that every shop can identify with and you know we still we get a fair amount of people saying oh you're going to take jobs away that that is not the case at all what what we have found talking to the shop owners is when they bring automation in house they take their operator and they train them how to use that automation elevating their skills how do you keep your customers coming back for more brian it's quite evident when we visit your uh, factories that have has machines they generally don't tend to have one they tend to have quite a quantity. So we, you put that we, we have a saying that the salesman sells you the first Haas machine and the service technician sells you your second. We pride ourselves on being able to service your machine. So number one, we have inexpensive parts and we have quick reaction time. I don't care what machine you have, if it's a Haas machine or the most expensive machine there is, something's going to go wrong. I mean, you're, you're cutting metal. We pride ourselves on servicing the machines. So you'll get parts quickly and at a fair price, and then you'll have an HFO, Haas Factory Outlet, technician 
who can service the whole machine. And this is the same around the world? This is the same around the world, yes. And um, you have a big emphasis as well on your video media, like we do. You obviously yeah. find that it works. Yep. Walking around here today, you've got six video editors. Yes. Uh, you know, 20 strong, is it 20 strong marketing team? Oh, we're bigger than that. I think we're closer to 30 or 40 now. Okay, and, and this is a big part now of your marketing drive. It, it's a it? huge and emphasis. Why, why do you think it works? Well, there's a couple of reasons. I mean, COVID made it even more more obvious that this is the direction we needed to go. But even prior to that, you know, people are still going to trade shows, but you see less. And even some manufacturers are pulling out of the big trade shows. So people want to do their shopping, if you will, on their own. They want to be able to do at least the first part of the sales process online. So we provide them videos. Um, Haas Automation has upfront pricing. So you go on our website, you know exactly what the machine costs. You can watch videos, you can look at all the technical specs, and a customer can know close to what they want through the online experience before they ever talk to a salesperson. And what's it like being on the infamous Red Muff, as you and your colleague said? Well, it's amazing. At first, I didn't really know what to do with it. But <laughs> <laughs> no, we really appreciate having you guys here and having the opportunity to talk to you. Brilliant. Thank you very much for your time, Brian. It's been a brilliant tour. Look forward to uh, many more in the future. Thank it's you. It's been great talking to you. Thank you.